after the devastating earthquake in 2011, Stronger Christchurch Infrastructure Rebuild Team was formed. It's made up of many people from different local organisations tasked with the rebuild of the whole range of services for the city. Key to the success and speed of this huge job is quick integration and visibility of huge amounts of disparate data from many sources, which was made possible by developing a business intelligence solution using Microsoft SQL Server and SharePoint Server. Typically, we would need two or three full-time equivalents to be able to take all of that data and consolidate it and make sure that what we were saying was real. And the BI solution has, has done away with that need. So now we have a single portal where all of our uh, key stakeholders can go and draw down that information to find out what we've done, what we're doing, and what we're doing next. The Stronger Christchurch Infrastructure Rebuild Team is a unique organisation because they'll only be around for as long as it takes to rebuild the city of Christchurch. They have no financial targets, no balance sheets and no competitors, but they do need to ensure that the right job is done at the right time and that all information is completely visible to all parties, including funding parties, at any time. It has been created to be the delivery vehicle for the rebuild of the water supply, the wastewater and sewerage, the stormwater and drainage, and the roading for the city of Christchurch. It's uh, an organisation that will turn over $500 million a year for the next five years. We have three clients, being national government and local government uh, bodies, and we have five contractors who are in a relationship through an alliance agreement with those three clients to create this organisation. We needed a solution where we could capture data and cut and dice it how we wanted or how we needed to to provide the same information in different formats to different customers. So there's been a number of different stakeholders involved, including Datacom, uh, providing the infrastructure, etc., for the solution that we've implemented. Uh, Intigen, who is a local partner here in Christchurch. I guess the biggest challenge was that what they had was nothing. And so we were trying to go from zero to 100 really quickly. The place was in turmoil because of the earthquake. We're still running around without homes, in some cases, struggling with the same things everyone else is struggling. So for us, getting this working as quickly as possible is critical. And we worked with Theta where we could to make sure that things worked well because it was really important to get great outcomes for Christchurch. In the early days, what we really wanted to do was just get visibility of the data. The core product behind uh, the entire thing is, is Microsoft SQL Server. And the reason for that is SQL Server holds and stores all the data that we need from the, from the different key systems that we use. On top of SQL Server, we, uh, we overlay Westgate Red for doing uh, some of the extract, transform and load um, in combination with Microsoft's integration services, which is part of the SQL Server platform as well. For a visualization aspect, we're using a combination of reporting services, uh, SharePoint Portal Server and Performance Point services, bringing these together so that uh, we've got dashboards for senior level management reporting as well as monthly, weekly, corporate style reporting. We have a, a program made up of many hundreds of projects. What we can't afford to do is delve into the detail of each of every project, so we look for ex and manage it by exception. Using the BI tool can draw all the information out of our disparate systems and really look uh, for those exceptions, the projects which are in trouble or doing very well. And why do we look for projects that are doing very well? Because we can take the learnings from those and help other projects succeed where they might be failing. So what we've been able to do is actually build reports and give ourselves dashboards which show where we are hitting bottlenecks within our processes and understanding the constraints that are driving those bottlenecks. Um, and we use the tool to work out what our future workload was going to look like from a design perspective and soon realised that the number of designers that we had engaged wasn't big enough. We, we had to employ more designers. And that was a typical example of how we've used the BI tool. All that information's here at, you, at the snap of the fingers and it's, it's really good. It's bloody good. And, and it's so easy and it's so fast. By using Microsoft SQL Server, BI tools and technologies, the enormous task of rebuilding New Zealand's second largest city has been streamlined and future-proofed. <laughs>